Hi friends, this is Fantastic Boy here. So if you're nearing the start of your pharmacy school and you're starting to get a little bit anxious, a little bit nervous, well, calm down, take a deep breath, relax, because I was exactly in the same shoes as you are about a few years ago. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing some tips about how to survive your first year of pharmacy school and hopefully you can carry the same approach throughout the remaining uh, years of your pharmacy school. All right, let's get started. Uh, I've written down a few information here so I don't forget everything I want to talk about. So to begin, I would recommend that you try not to have an attitude of wanting to get through this alone. Because uh, you will be stressed, there will be a lot of challenges coming up. So I would say find a support system. This could be your family, your friends, or if possible you can try and make friends early on in pharmacy school. I know some people have a hard time making friends than others, but if you can, I would totally recommend that you try and make friends or at least get a, uh, some sort of support system to help you through the entire years. So in terms of what you're expecting your first year, a lot of information will be thrown at you early on in the pharmacy curriculum. The pharmacy curriculum is designed much more intense than your undergraduate uh, curriculum. So um, I would say just focus on your core courses. You can go slow with the electives. Just make sure you get your, your core courses down and then you, you go on to uh, taking electives. Uh, so uh, first year is mostly designed to get everyone on the same page. So um, you would see a few repeat of undergraduate performance courses or, or, or topics, but it will be taught in a much more intense way. So if you have a problem in this first year, I would totally recommend that you get help. Because if you don't, it's going to tip over into the rest of the years of pharmacy school and it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy, trust me. So, this is really, really crucial. This year, the first year is really, really crucial. Make sure you get it down. If you have pr troubles, if you're having problems, get help. Okay, so, know your study habit. People study differently. People learn differently. Some people are visual learners. Some like to write notes get yours down get it down early as early as possible know what's what's best for you i would recommend that you try to internalize the information that are being presented to you and not and do less of memorization because that would totally help in the long run uh again if memorization is your best way of learning absolutely by all means do it but that's just my recommendation that you totally understand uh whatever it is that's been presented to you and you can do that by teaching others or teaching it to yourself Okay, moving on. Extracurricular activity. There will be a lot thrown at you. There is a lot of organizations to get involved in, involved in, uh, in your first year of pharmacy school. Uh, there will be a lot of fraternity groups that you can uh, pledge into. I would say just consider everything and take your time, you know. Don't rush into anything. Don't stress about anything. Just take your time and go at your own pace. Okay, so... You will be stressed, you will be stressed, you will be challenged, and that's how the curriculum is set up. And that goes back to what I was saying earlier about looking for a support system that would help you through this challenging period, that would you know support you and, and let you get through it. So uh, you can do this, you can find, you know, you, you can find your own way of distressing. This could be uh, playing video games or playing soccer or football, whatever it is that you like doing, or reading books or med meditations. Uh, some people like to go to the gym. I do too. So if that's your way of distressing and you know just uh, having a lot of time to yourself just to calm down, uh, absolutely do that because that would, that would also help a lot. So this also tied into time management. Okay, you'll be having a lot of stuff going on. And you don't want to waste time doing one thing and now focusing on the other. So you absolutely need to time manage very, very well. You have to learn this early on. You have to make sure you're not spending too much time on unnecessary things. And you have to be able to, you know, time yourself. You would have to learn how to time manage. You just have to do it because you would have to balance your work, your family and school. And these are, you know, really, really important. So in terms of work, I know some people do about 10 to 20 hours a week, depending on what their employers are requiring them to, to do. Um, so I would recommend doing 10 to 20 hours if you can. Uh, and if you can go over 20 hours, which I would not recommend, by all means do it. Again, you just have to learn how to balance those. So lastly here, not every day will go well in pharmacy school. You can ask any pharmacy student or anyone who's gone through it. Not every single day will go well. So the best way to handle that is to learn from your mistake just learn from what you did wrong and don't feel like a failure or a loser that's not gonna help you learn from your from your mistakes and go on from there and I'm sure the next one will, will go better 
And that's, that's the best way to handle that kind of situation in pharmacy school. Well, I hope the information I've provided will help you in your first year of pharmacy school. Again, just remember, you're gonna be stressed, you're gonna be challenged. Just look for that support system, know how to time manage very, very well, and not every single day will go well. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comments area. I would respond to those. If you like these videos, I'll be making more in the future. Please hit subscribe. And don't forget to check out my other videos up there. Uh, and uh, I will see you later.